On this, I'm joined by Joao Morales, who's a socio-environmental activist. He's also the general director for a body focused on supporting cultural and environmental diversity in the eastern Amazonia. Joao, thank you very much indeed for joining us on the news hour. So uh, how extraordinary are these scenes in southern Brazil? Would you say they're unprecedented? Yes, they are, but they are they were predicted. Uh, that's the problem. We have been working on the environmentalists and the scientists have been saying that for 30 years, 40 years. Unfortunately, this is happening now, but uh, we, we cannot wait to act. That's the fact. And presumably climate change uh, has some uh, blame to be taken for the storms themselves. Uh, to what extent does deforestation, though, exacerbate the flooding? Um, in fact, deforestation and cattle ranching is, in the case of Brazil, are essential issues that must be uh, challenged immediately. Uh, we Most of the floods are in areas very close to rivers, as, as in uh, very really immediate to river basins that uh, were not capable of supporting the water. And they, it was known issue. This is no new thing. Uh, we need immediate reparation now. Yeah, and what is President Lula da Silva doing about that in his tenure so far? Uh, presumably, uh, his policies are a great improvement on his predecessor, Jair Bolsonaro. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, there is just oil and water. The difference is incomparable. Uh, I think we, we have all the conditions, political, economic conditions, and uh, we really can change that now. And to what extent are our emergency services and environmental services equipped to deal with a disaster of this scale? I think Brazil is very well equipped when you compare to other countries, but uh, the population and the local defense, civil defense, as we call, uh, must act uh, in conjunction. I, ha I think we have a, a great preparation, good preparation for uh, disaster, challenging disasters, and the army is involved, local defense, uh, civil defense is involved. I, I, I think we can tackle that. But the politicians must pay attention, real attention. That's uh, not uh, something that will happen once in a while. This is the new normal, as we say in Portuguese. Well, yeah, that's a depressing picture, but hopefully those measures are taken soon. And uh, Joao, we thank you very much indeed for joining us on the news hour. Thank you.